Okay, so we have expression design to create custom vector graphics. Design is powerful, certainly underutilized by many people. I'm just going to create a default here. And so remember, we're going to be creating a, a rating control. So a rating control of a few stars. A star is a polygon. I'll add a polygon to the canvas here. All right, that is a polygon, no doubt, but it's not the one I want. I want stars. So I'll go over to points. It's three. I'm going to raise it up to five. That's how many points the star has. And then pull them in here using inner depth like this. Whee! Very nice. Now I need to tilt it. It's not quite straight. I'm just going to tilt it to the side. And uh, maybe just a little bit more. All right, perfect isn't important. I just want to show the concept here. Um, I'll hold down Alt in order to duplicate it. And I'll drag one over. And then another. And I'll drag another. And then I will. I actually did get it perfect. Beautiful. And then another. And then finally to a fifth one. And I can select them all now. Let me just move that over so it's nice. I'll select them all, shrink them just a little bit. And so here's what's important. There are five stars, five paths, five unique objects. I need to undo that. So what I'll do is I'll go to the object menu, say compound path. That's the same as control eight. And basically it turns it into a single item. That's important because now what I can do is when I set the background color, I'm setting the background color not of each of them the same, but of just one object. So this is particularly important when we talk about linear gradients. So I'm going to switch to a linear gradient. And see I have a linear gradient of black and white. And when the two stop, um, the gradient stops, get close to each other, it really makes a straight line. So just look at that and start thinking about a, if I, as I start moving this around, I can move this to show the, to represent the rating number itself, right? Because it's really going to be some sort of percentage. And so, all right, let's leave it like this. I want to I'm going to take the whole thing and select it. Control E is how I'm going to export that. And I'm going to select to export it as a, uh, a silver light here. And I'll take off everything because I don't care about all that. I'm going to dump this into temp. I'll call it stars. Go ahead and export it. And it'll do everything for me to take all of that information and turn it into a XAML path. Right, so I don't have to think about that. I could have drawn it all by using <laughs> I could have drawn all of this by using Visual Studio and typing in all the paths. <laughs> but that's painful. Even to think about it's painful. All right, let me go over to actually, let me pull it open so you can see the file itself. Uh, here we are. There's stars. I just one in my temp folder that I just added. Let's open that up. You can see here's the path itself all the work's been done for me and then the individual fill remember I set up that initial gradient and we'll go in and, and, and change all of that so I'll copy this and I'll open up Visual Studio here and say new project I'll select the new blank Metro project I'll wait a couple seconds while that's created and then I'll go into the XAML of the main page and so here in the XAML of the main page I am gonna pull this down I'm gonna first I'm just gonna add a stack panel that's because I'm going to add two things here in just a second, and then I'll, pa I'll paste that so we can have it. So you can already see it's in my page. See it was right there, and um, it looks just like uh, the other, or you know what I saw in design. And so now I want to do make some changes because I wasn't 100% perfect about it. So see the gradient start point. I'm going to set this. This isn't a negative anything. This is just zero neg uh, zero point five. So I'll just go ahead and set it to zero. And then over here, it's not one point anything, it's just one. Now I have a straight up and down uh, gradient like I wanted. Um, I'll change it so that these two are exactly the same. Let's say like 45 and 45. And see, when they're the same, look how sharp that line is. Or I can go 55, 55, and I'll pull it kind of out a little. See how 55, 55, here I'll do them both as zero. See that great? Now all we need to do is set that up so we can control that gradient. And so uh, black is a little hard to see. I'm going to go ahead and change this to be, uh, let's say, red. How's red look? Yeah, red is good. But you know, usually they're how about gold? Yeah, that's more like what a star would look like. Now um, I told you I was going to add one other thing. I'll go ahead and do that. I'm going to add a slider. And I'll, let me just say, your radius control really is done. This is it. I could move this into a user control if I wanted to. I don't need to. Uh, so I'll create a slider and give it a name. It's going to be called my slider. Its current value is, uh, let's say, 
and then it'll have a minimum of uh, zero and then a maximum of one and then the step frequency is the important thing right 0 0.05 right, as it moves and uh, we'll make that you can see it's already appeared there the purple one above it that's our slider and in here these values they don't have to be hard coded like this I can bind them and that's what I would want to do I would bind to a value inside my view model I don't have a view model I just want to show how to do this so let me go ahead and just bind it to the value the current value of element name my slider I want to make these exactly the same so I'm gonna go ahead and bind them the same make their binding identical like that and you can see they've already bound to the value which is 0.5 uh, no, which is, well, it is 0.5, yes. But see, if I were to change that to 0.45, you can see it's already bound correctly. So let's go ahead and uh, run that in the simulator so we can see it. It's very common if, uh, oh, I didn't run it in the simulator. Hang on just a second. It'll be a lot easier to see in the simulator. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, uh, Radius control is very common, right? You're, you're rating an article, you're rating a restaurant, you're rating a, so many things you can rate. And uh, this is the easiest, fastest way to create a control. And look, see how it follows because it's bound. Now, instead of being a slider, just picture my slider is my view model, and it's bound to a property inside my view model. I take whatever the rating is, I translate that into a zero to one a percentage in the decimal this way. And uh, from that point forward, I bind to it, and it looks exactly the way I want to. No magical controls. I created it in seconds, six minutes, but still. That's pretty fast and pretty easy. Expression design, creating custom vector graphics that you can export as XAML, add to your XAML applications, and just go to town. Best of luck.